Hello, this is Baron from Magic speaking. Today we're going to talk about how to use import data as a formula in Google Sheets and how to use publish to the web within Magic for your advantage. So currently we do have a lot of exporting options with Magic and most of them work very well with other applications. If you want to export as a CSV, you can do that and you can see all of our exporting options underneath. Uh, the tools menu over here and your database account for each different sheet. This sheet that I created is a culmination of other sheets. I have a long explanation in a previous webinar video and I will link that in the description here but we will do the same thing in a short manner in this tutorial video. So to use the publish to the web you must know that you have to have your data public. Now, if you don't want to make your data public, then there are other methods to use. This one is mostly for further analyzation and if you want to directly um, link your data to another web application. It can be a third-party application, it can be a different software, you can pretty much use this in a lot of cases. So to ensure that you have your data public, you can check that from change design and go to form settings and access rights over here, the tab, and you have to check the everyone rights. So everyone is the public configuration for your database access rights. And we have it as a viewer, so anyone can view all the entries inside this database sheet. Since the access rights are configured on a sheet-by-sheet -sheet basis, you can change this for internal users as well, but this is for the public. So we want to have this as a viewer. And from Tools and Publish to the Web, we can copy the CSV version of this to use in our Google Sheets. So the access right you granted can be uh, unpublished through here afterwards if you want to. Again, you can go to the access rights menu and change the access rights afterwards as well. We're going to copy this CSV link and we're going directly to Google Sheets. Now I have an empty spreadsheet over here and to import the data from what I published on Ragic, we're going to use a formula called import data. So equal import data and we're going to paste the URL into quotes and then close the parenthesis and enter. So now this will load my entire data that I had in this sheet to my Google Sheet over here. And you can see that it imported it pretty fast. Now if I wanted to analyze this data, you can use the chart tools, but I'm going to create a pivot table because that's a good way to analyze your data. So for this way, you want to select the data. What I did was I selected the first field over here and then went to the end and um, pressed shift and selected the last field on my last column. So there probably are better ways to do this, but uh, this is the fastest and I don't really have much data anyway, but this is a good way to select all your data. If you select the entire sheet, then you'll have a lot of blank fields. So I didn't want to do that. All right, so from this, I want to create a pivot table to actually analyze some of these columns and rows to see um, what has been sold. So the sales trends on my database sheet here, I can analyze with reports built into Ragic, but I want to see this in a neat little pivot table within Google Sheets. So I can create this through data and click pivot table over here. So this, um, this is generated from the range that I selected. So I just selected the whole thing but you can do something else, of course. So I click the pivot table over here, and I need to add some of the rows and columns to be analyzed. So let's see, we want the category, and I want to actually add the products under each category so that they'll be grouped under um, their own categories. And for the columns, I want the sales total um, so it's going to add the grand total for each version. I can actually add the, the state 
that these were being sold at so that I can analyze that and then I can show values for the unit price and quantity that was being sold. So you can do this um, for a lot of different things uh, depending on what you want to analyze and this is a great way to figure out what you want to see at a glance for your data. So I hope this helps you guys and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us through support at or write to me in the comments below and I will be glad to answer any question. Thank you very much. Bye.